In today's video, we are going to be initiating coverage on Canopy Growth Corp, ticker symbol CGC. They trade on the New York Stock Exchange and their current price is $50.05. Now real quick guys, before we get started, two things. Number one, go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. Uh, I plan on updating all news and events uh, surrounding Canopy Growth in the near future. And the second thing guys, go down to my description box or my comment section and check out my social media links. Uh, I'm always sharing uh, current news articles, stock updates, anything to do with the stock market. I try to keep it circulating on my social media websites. So make sure you check that out. And I appreciate all the support we're getting here on the channel, guys. It means a lot to me. So let's go ahead and just get just a little bit of background on Canopy Growth. So um, they are, uh, the CEO's name is Bruce Linton. So they were founded in 2014 and the headquarters is in Smith Falls, Canada. They also have subsidiaries, the Canopy Health Innovations, Tokyo Smoke, and they have other ones as well. So we are here on the website, the uh, Canopy Growth website, and uh, let's just take a look at uh, some of their products and then we'll take a look at their management team. They offer a dried flower product. So they have products that are oils and concentrates and they use high quality inputs and uh, cannabis extracts using state-of-the-art superficial fluid CO2 extraction technology. That is a mouthful. <laughs> But they, uh, they uh, offer major and minor cannabinoids, terrapines, and flavonoids that uh, contribute to the overall medicinal value of medical cannabis. So that is very exciting products. So they also offer soft gel capsules. Um, this is a discrete dosing solution for those interested in consuming their medical cannabis in pill form. And they also have hemp, industrial hemp. Um, so they have a wide range of different uses, including food, skin care, textiles, and fuel, just to name a few. So one thing, guys, I really like about Canopy Growth Guys is their corporate social responsibility. So as marijuana becomes legal in Canada, starts becoming legal worldwide, and moves more and more into our daily culture, there is a social responsibility to safety, okay? And Canopy Growth is uh, involved with lots of different programs safe driving campaign you know like i said they don't need people uh, driving around messed up all the time youth and cannabis developing educational tools teaching children and teenagers that it is a you know for medical purposes and recreational but to always be safe and then breaking down barriers to access and developing clinical guidelines so that is something uh I really have come to appreciate about Canopy is their awareness to the uh, to the customers and to everybody uh, that's involved with the company as they develop and grow. Okay, I think that is a very important step that they're taking. Like I said, to not only make sure they're a legitimate company, respected by the public, but like I said, keeping an eye on everyone's safety. So they do have a very good management chain. Um, I've been following Bruce Linton for a couple of years now, watching him, watching his moves, and uh, he's the founder and chairman and CEO of Canopy Growth. They have Mark Zeculin, he's the president and co-CEO. Tim Saunders, executive vice president, chief financial officer. Phil Shayer, is the chief legal officer. And uh, I'm not going to go through each and every one of these guys, but I will link up the website <clears throat> and you can take a few minutes and read through uh, this impressive management team all the things they've done to really develop this company now let's start with a fundamental look at canopy growth okay so we'll start right here guys about 11.67 billion dollar market cap right down here in the share statistics statistics guys this is updated through September 27th but six percent six point five percent of shareholders are holding this stock short anticipating it to go down and uh, right here profit margins highly negative operating margins highly negative and the return on assets and equity is also very negative so this company is not in the best shape um, fundamentally just yet you know they do have a 63 percent quarterly revenue growth and uh, but some of these like a negative 62 million EBITDA 
and uh, negative 106 million net income AVI to common. Okay, so uh, a lot of these metrics would uh, tell you that this is a very unhealthy company that has a lot, a long ways to go before they're going to be a true investment. However, uh, keep in mind this: you're buying into the future and you're buying into the vision. Okay, you're buying into what this company can be okay and what they can turn into so marijuana and cannabis just became legal in canada today as a matter of fact well by the time i release this video it will be yesterday you know their debt to equity ratio is uh, 50.66 so i'm actually pleasantly surprised with that and then we come down here guys they got a negative cash flow operating and they have a negative levered free cash flow so they do have a lot of work to do here on the balance sheet so here guys i've got the five-year chart pulled up <clears throat> of course it only goes back to april of 2014 when this was a two to three dollar per share stock okay and as you can see it traded sideways for about two and a half years and really got some traction in november of 2016 where then it really really took off and like i said now it's up over 50 dollars a share Take a look here at the one year chart guys a year ago this was a nine to ten dollar uh stock okay so it, you would have got uh, over 500 percent return if you would have bought into canopy one year ago so fantastic chart outstanding growth and a lot of investor support here we are over on tip ranks guys and the uh <clears throat> average analyst consensus is giving it a strong buy okay and that is kind of the um, direction this company is going very well respected amongst the cannabis community probably the um best stock and the most highly recommended stock in the cannabis family maybe outside of aurora or tilray uh, but i would actually consider you know canopy growth the uh, superior position to have in your portfolio and uh so there's been three ratings all of them have been strong buys and they have a high price target of 77 dollars 24 cents with an average price target of 63.62 and a low of 50. so uh taking in that information obviously you don't want to base everything off of what analysts tell you but um from analyst ratings, you could say that this stock is heavily discounted even at its uh, current price and has quite a bit of upside um, if these analysts are correct. Then right here too, guys, uh, back on the 9th of October, I released a video when Canopy Growth and Tilray both got a price target boost. I will have a link come up right now and you can go back and watch that video. Uh, but basically, you know, Canopy and Tilray both got a price target by a huge analyst in the same day. So I think, too, that plays a critical role in the uh, movement of both Canopy and Tilray. So make sure you go back and check that video out. So in my humble opinion, guys, I think Canopy Growth is, if not the best, one of the best cannabis plays on the market right now. Of course, the way I... Uh, invest in cannabis long term is the uh, etf mj okay but they do house a lot of canopy growth and that was one of the real selling factors is why i bought in to mj is their big holding in canopy so i'm calling canopy growth a buy and i'm giving them a 75 dollar price target thanks for watching the video guys i hope you enjoyed it like I said, make sure to check out my social media, subscribe if you haven't done so, and drop me a comment, tell me what you think about Canopy. It's a very exciting company. Thanks for watching the video, guys.